Hey guys, it's Tim from 40s Glory, and today we got another little problem with the 2010 Chevy Impala. Um, just in the last couple of weeks, I've noticed the stability track and traction control service light have came on, along with the ABS light and the little traction control light. So today we're going to try to diagnose this and um, see if we can get her fixed easy. Okay, so I got my diagnostics tool here, and if you're a auto do it yourself -er. um, you really need to get yourself one of these if you don't already have one it'll save you a lot of time a lot of aggravation from going to the dealer and having them tell you who knows what's wrong with your car um, usually this will pinpoint it down pretty accurately it's got the ABS function on it to diagnose the problem we have today um, and it'll also plug into your computer and give you a virtual technician that'll guide you in the right direction so we'll go out to the car and we'll take a look and see what codes it's given us okay so here we are in the car and um, as luck would have it the lights aren't on right now um, it has been an intermittent thing seems to do it a lot worse when it's raining out so that's telling me it's probably a wiring problem I have an idea what the problem is it's the uh, ABS speed sensor hub and hopefully it's just a wiring problem because if we have to get into changing the hub, it could be a big job and cost a little bit more money than just being a wire. So, But for the purpose of this video, we'll run through the steps here and we'll get some codes. So we plugged in and there's the code, a C0035, which is telling us it's a right front wheel speed sensor supply. So right there, it tells us uh, where to look. We need to, we got to go to the right front tire. And like I say, um, we hopefully it's just going to be the wire maybe a bad connection or something and we won't have to change that right hub because with these uh gm cars the hub and the speed uh, the abs sensor are all built in together so it's a uh, it's about a 250 to 500 dollar part depending on the quality and where you get it so let's just hope it's a wiring problem hey guys so we plugged into the computer here to uh our repair solutions website which will get the information off the code reader and give us a little further details um, it's a pretty uh, neat software um, it can give you all your maintenance history uh, tells you your next maintenance schedules um, there is the option to pay ten dollars a year and it'll give you advice for mechanics and what the probable fix is for your problem for this one we don't really need that says we kind of have an idea what the problem is so We'll go down here and shows us our system status was all good until we get to the ABS and brake. So it shows us the code that it read. So if we just click on here, it'll bring up the current situation, which is telling us a left front wheel speed sensor circuit malfunction. Uh, the code reader kind of told us it was the right side, so we'll have to look at both connections. So we're hoping it's just going to be the where the uh, connection to the sensor is and that'll be an easy fix so we will get to that okay guys it looks like we've narrowed down our problem to one of two issues it's either the whole wheel hub assembly is going to need to be replaced because the abs and speed sensor is built into one on the gms or it's just a bad connection now based on the fact that it seems to get worse when it's raining and when I'm turning left that it seems like it's just a bad connection but we won't be able to tell until we get the wheels off so luckily I had already arranged for the guys at the shop there where I work they were going to put my winter tires on for me tomorrow so when we get there um, we get the summer tires off before we put the winter ones on we will take a closer look and see if my intuition is correct the connection hey guys so we were able to get the car in the shop there and do the actual testing we tested the resistance on the um, on the hub hub sensor itself and the uh, the main line going into the sensor it wasn't the connection it ended up being the left side 
whole hub assembly is going to need to be replaced. The sensor is is shot, so unfortunately that's the most expensive option, but what are you going to do about it? So we've done some shopping around. I was able to get a part, a good quality one from Napa for about $107 as my employee discount gives me. Um, they can run anywhere from $250, $300. You can find some real cheap ones on Rock Auto for $40, $50, bucks, but you know, a good, good Good quality ones, about a hundred bucks, so not too bad. And we'll be able to do the work ourselves. And maybe down in the when we do it this Saturday, I'll do a video on how to actually do the repair. But the the part of this video, I just wanted to show you guys the importance of having yourself one of those uh, code readers. Um, saves you so much time, so much money. Because I guarantee you, if you took it to your dealership, the service advisors they're paid on commission. No matter what your problem was, even if it was just the wiring, the connection was bad, they were going to try to sell you the hub assembly, um, guaranteed. You know, they're always going to try to upsell you that, so you get yourself your own code reader. I know some of the auto parts stores, they, uh, they'll they read the codes for you, but the beauty of having your own is it comes with the software on the computer, you just plug it in, um, pay the $10 a year, it'll give you the best fixes, and you know, even if you don't have your own tools or anything like that, it just... At least you know you're not going into the shop blind. You're going to uh, know what you're talking about when you're going in, and it's going to eliminate the chances of those service advisors to really hose you there. So that's the that's the point of this video here. Thanks again for watching, and I hope I've gave you some pointers on how to uh, diagnose some problems of your car yourself. Uh, like I say, it sends you saves you a lot of money, and um, yeah, just and so much aggravation there. So. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll be back with some more good videos. Thanks.